Tell me, what are the main slip-ups that writers make? Well, I, I have to confess, I'm, I, I'm, uh, I'm sort of obsessed. Uh, I'm obsessed with... Get away. Yeah, yeah. I'm obsessed with spelling. Nothing drives me more insane than bad spelling. Uh, and, and I notice it more and more these days as younger and younger people come into the, into the business. And so my understanding is when they're at school, they're encouraged to be articulate without worrying too much about spelling. And I can see the point of view, I can see it very well. Um, but what I can't see is when you go into a search engine, <laughs> you're looking for something and you can't spell it, then you might not find it. Or alternatively, if you've written something and it's badly spelled and somebody is looking for you in a search engine, they might not find what you've written. So that is, that is just um, a, bit of a, a bit of an obsession and uh, I confess. But there, there are other things, you know, that was, that was the main slip up, spelling. I mean, it's easy enough to fix, for goodness sake. You know, you, you can, well, the trouble is you can't trust the computer. You can trust the computer up to a point, but you still need to read stuff. I'll come on to that some other time. Um, but you, you don't totally trust. I, I saw a thing the other day. I misread it, unfortunately. It's, I thought it said a daft law. And it didn't, it said a draft law, but you know what, they may as well have misspelled it because it's the sort of thing that would slip past a computer spell checker. So if you wrote a daft law, the spell checker would go, oh yes. <laughs> and it's not until it's published and you see it should have been a draft law and you're terribly confused and embarrassed and all the Anyway, that's, that spelling is one thing. The other thing I would say is be active. If you know what a verb is and if you know what a subject is, shove them up the front of your sentence. And if you don't know, well, you need to find out. Um, the girl, that's the subject. Et, the, the, that's the verb. The apple, that's the object. Not the apple was eaten by the girl. I mean, this is a really stupid example, but a lot of people, especially bureaucrats, want to be a bit passive. They seem to feel more comfortable uh, with passive forms, so they would. I, I would say that they're the main, the main um, things that people so yes, probably get wrong. Be direct. Be direct. Yes. Active language. Active language. Okay. Thank you.